Five and below. Hello, can you go five and below? Hey. Motivation to sew. Hello, can you go five and below? Hey. Motivation to sew. We going five, five and below. Motivation to sew. We getting ready to sew. Come on, y'all, let's get ready to sew. <laughs> Hello everyone and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T and welcome no, to, the no, to the fourth episode, episode of the of Five and Below series. series. Yes, series. if you are new to watching the channel, I welcome you and go ahead and click that subscribe button and the great notification bell so that you can be notified of future videos. And thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your continued support. So today I will be sharing look number four of five for the five and below series that is being hosted by myself and Rochelle of Rochelle.Handmade.Designs. If you are not aware of what the five and below series is, this is a series that began on Sunday, March 6th and the last day of the series will be on Sunday, April 10th. So we only have two more weeks of this series yes two more weeks within the series myself and Rochelle have collaborated to showcase a total of 10 patterns along with the finished garments that will be sewn up into something absolutely fabulous that will only require five pattern pieces or less to make so I at the end of the series would have presented five patterns with the finished garment sewn up and Rochelle will have done the same and we present these patterns each Sunday for the duration of the series which is how you get a total of 10 patterns to use as inspiration for quick sewing projects and we will post these looks here on YouTube and on Instagram at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, and 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you feel inspired, come on in, join on in the fun, and post your looks on Instagram and or on YouTube, and use the hashtag sewing five and below so that we can find your makes there and we can shout you out in our videos and on Instagram and we have seen some beautiful makes so far and we appreciate that these makes can be one that have been made by us that you have been inspired by or it could just be a pattern that simply has five pattern pieces or less that you want to share with us okay if you can't or don't want to do it for whatever reason we just appreciate you for watching the series, commenting, and anything of that nature. So thank you. So that is my blurb on the idea behind this series. And I will also link the official announcement video in the description box below and in the cards above. And I'll also put it on the end card at the end of the video and I have also created a playlist that has my videos for this series along with Rochelle so you can go ahead and binge that if you have not watched some of the videos and you desire to do so. So today we have several five and below highlights and spotlights okay so just like last week and the week prior I searched the hashtag sewing five and below to see if there were any participants and listen y'all y'all showed out this week okay y'all showed out we have several participants and I will quickly showcase our participants so that you can see what they made and which patterns they use so that you can note those patterns and put them down as five and below makes two all right so here we go so for our first participant of the week we have the beautiful Rachel Lynn of Rachel Lynn Creates Rachel needed to whip something up really quick to make for St. Patrick's Day and she thought about how she can make something fabulous really quick by using a five and below pattern and that is exactly what she did y'all she made the Adrian blouse by Friday Pattern Company and this blouse only requires three pattern pieces three pattern pieces is all Rachel Lynn needed to accomplish her green St. Patrick Day goals and she did that well so thank you so much Rachel Lynn for your participation 
absolutely fabulous so next we have miss hollywood wear y'all miss hollywood wear is getting ready for an amazing trip to paris and she is in need of some separates to mix and match so she whipped up a whole three-piece outfit and only use seven pattern pieces i mean come on y'all seven my goodness just awesome she made her top by using simplicity 9045 out of stretch satin and her pants out of butterick 6742 out of cotton twill and she cropped them so that she can showcase all of her little cute shoes that have fashionable buckles and she also made her cute purse out of burlap by using mccall's 8272 not only did she use only seven pattern pieces to make this whole entire ensemble but she only spent a total of $21 to make all three items because your girl knows how to shop for the low low so yes absolutely fabulous absolutely fabulous so Miss Hollywood Wear thank you so much for sharing your makes and for your participation so next we have Miss Jazzy Grandma's Pearls also known as Prissy Gardner on YouTube. Grandma Pearls made a beautiful maxi dress by using Simplicity 8912 View A. She has made this pattern that has simple lines and no closure look super fancy by elevating the look with royal looking fabric. Simple and elegant and I absolutely love it. So thank you so much Grandma Pearls for using this hashtag and for your participation and back by popular demand of sewing five and below miss tanya brings to us yet another pattern for inspiration tanya of tanya d brian made such a sophisticated top by using butterick 6685 ua tanya has been working on some challenging sewing projects and she had to remind herself to stop and sew simple projects from time to time so that her joy of sewing wouldn't always feel like a challenge although this project was simple she noticed a snag in her fabric so she created some beautiful contrasting strips to cover it up and give her five and below make some extra flair and yes that leopard print with the contrasting flair combined with five pattern pieces or below you can't beat it y'all can't beat it you just can't so thank you so much again miss tanya for your participation so now we have miss debbie of debbie lloyd 56 who came out on the five and below scene with this beautiful pink with zebra like stripes top that she made miss debbie said that she can't wait to start enjoying spring weather so she is getting the sewing groove and what better way to get your sewing groove back than to sew a five and below make y'all she made her top by using mccall 7721 and she made view c she definitely knew what she was doing when she paired that beautiful jersey knit fabric to this pattern because she took this pattern to a higher level for real for real so thank you so much miss debbie for this pattern and inspiration you look amazing then we have miss gladys of gladys scott 3853 heart to sew gladys made this cute little sassy and jazzy cold shoulder top by using simplicity 8383 view a Gladys says that it's supposed to be a dress, but she made it into a top because that's what you can do when you sew. This pattern only took five pattern pieces to make and she looks absolutely gorgeous in her top that's giving her a little peek a -poo of skin, y'all. So just fantastic. So thank you so much, Miss Gladys. Lastly, we have Teresa of Mr. Charlie's Angels who came on the scene and actually sewed up one of the feature patterns for the Sewing 5 and Below series and that pattern is simplicity 1463 Teresa went to Walmart and found her a bomb bargain bundle and whipped up this top in no time Teresa said it was quick and easy and now she has a beautiful striped back wing top to add to her wardrobe for the Walmart bundle Lolo so thank you so much Teresa and thank you again to everyone else for your participation this was absolutely awesome and a amazing and i love it thank you thank you thank you so much again for your support well all right that was absolutely fun so we're gonna go ahead and move on to today's five and below makes and again this is week four 
out of five for the five makes that Rochelle and I are making. And today we both made dresses. I made this lovely knit dress by using McCall's 8062 and I made view C. So now that I have introduced the padding of the day, it's trivia time! Yes! <laughs> so now, take a good look at this dress and just by observing this, please type in the comment section how many pattern pieces you think it would take to make this and keep your comment in the comment section when you are finished and I'll give you a few seconds to type it in. Can you go five and below? Motivation to sew. Hello, can you go five and below? Motivation to sew. We go on five, five below. Motivation. To All right, this dress only required three pattern pieces to make this. Yes, three, three, three. Okay. <laughs> How amazing is it to get a classy spring and summery dress like this and only have to use three pattern pieces. Just awesome. Now, if you type the number in other than three, please keep it in the comment section because I am going to use participation throughout this whole series for my prize giveaway package. So even if your answer is wrong, it still counts as participation. So now that I have shared how many pattern pieces this pattern requires, I will explain why I picked this pattern. I picked this pattern, which is McCall's 8062 because I made it a long time ago, but it was a fail, okay? In a good way in a good way. Back when I made this the first time, I was newer to sewing and the finished measurements, I don't know if they weren't outside of the pattern or if I just didn't understand it, okay? And I didn't realize that you could like look at the tissue and you know, just all the things that you can do to get the right measurements. I just went with what I thought was right, which resulted in my dress being way too big. I did wear it from time to time, but I was always trying to fix how it was draped on my body and it was kind of like falling off my shoulder. So I did not get to really enjoy it. Another reason why it was a fail is because the fabric was way too sheer and I was, I pretty much had to wear like a whole slip dress underneath it. However, the dress was super cute. Okay. And my husband loved it. So I thought, why not make it again with better knowledge of sewing, right? And better quality fabric. So that's what I did. That's exactly what I did, okay? So now let's talk about the pattern, my experience while making it, and the changes that I made, which weren't many. So again, the pattern is McCall's 8062. And the pattern description is Mrs. Straight Handkerchief or High Low Dresses. For my prep time, I only took about 20 minutes to cut out the pattern and the fabric because although there are five different views to this pattern, they're like all kind of bunched up within the pattern line. So you don't have to sort out and peel apart a whole bunch of pattern pages. So you can just get right to the pattern view, cut it out and you're pretty much done only took me one hour to construct this dress. It was very, very simple to do. There are four different views to this pattern. View A is the straight maxi style of dress. View B has the high-low hem. View C, which is what I made, has the handkerchief hemline. And view D is like a super high-low type of hemline and view E has a lower maxi length and it's like almost to like the ground dragon which are views that I don't really prefer because I'm always tripping on maxi dresses <laughs> but again I made view C which has the handkerchief hem love it okay so for the fabric recommendations medium weight to heavy weight knits such as cotton jersey interlock and novelty jersey and for the sewing level this skill level is rated as level one learn to sew so if you are new to sewing this is a really 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 good beginner friendly project that will absolutely be fabulous especially if you are using a nice fabric okay 
there are no closures involved this will be like i said super easy for any sewer and although the installation of sleeves are involved it would still be pretty easy for anyone because of the simple fact that this pattern calls for knit fabric that you can pretty much stretch into place so you won't have to struggle you won't have to put in the basting stitches to try to help ease in the sleeves okay so again this dress only requires three pattern pieces that you will need to use to make this version and those pattern pieces are the front the back and the neck band that's it okay that's it notions needed thread and that's it all right pattern sizing comes in extra small through extra extra large and the finished bust measurements for an extra large which is the largest is a 50 and you do get some extra room on top of that because you'll be using stretchy knit fabric so i'm sure it could stretch an extra three to four inches so for the size that I cut, I cut an extra large on the top and I graded it down to a large once I got past the bust area because I'm larger on top than I am on the bottom and I didn't want my dress to be baggy and look paper baggish and in the hip area and things like that because you know I'm, I'm team no hips right but I want to look nice in my garments so I wanted to take that extra fabric away and that's the adjustment that I made. Um, I I do think that you can look at my dress and know that it is the same handkerchief style dress that is on the pattern cover so I feel like I achieved that goal and the instructions were super duper easy to follow not much to this at all and you get great results okay no issues whatsoever the things the things that I loved about this pattern, I love the simplicity of the pattern. I love the hemline options, but I love the handkerchief hemline option the most, which is why I made it, okay? I also love the sleeve length options, and I like the neckband a lot on this pattern. I found that this neckband is wider than most neckbands that I have sewn, and I actually like that look over like the smaller neckbands better. Um, the only thing that I disliked about this pattern is I make my dress sleeveless and there is a sleeveless option on the pattern for the dress and when you make the sleeveless options for your hemming you're pretty much just folding over the hem down twice and stitching it down okay I don't really like the look of that I prefer a sleeve band but I didn't have time to do it honestly because I would have had to draft it on my own and I, I just don't like doing that too much to you just not a fan of that and but I'm at the same time I'm not a fan of the fold over look so I had to take one or the other so I just went ahead and folded it over and stitched it down but yes I would prefer a more professional finish like how this neckband looks it would have been nice to have a sleeve band okay so just wish that that was included um but I did not learn any new techniques I didn't have any first time experiences because like I said this is my second time making this dress so the fabric that I use is this beautiful double brushed cotton knit that has a tan background with light brown leopard prints printed on the fabric oh my goodness I thought this would be perfect for spring and summer because it's just so soft and breathable and the colors are nice and warm and soft and and you know I love a leopard print right and this is just perfect I purchased this fabric from Joanne fabrics and I purchased two and a half yards I purchased two and a half yards because I originally wanted short sleeves on this and then I decided not to okay I to be honest I'm still up in the air about that so you may eventually <laughs> see this dress with sleeves at some point but they will be the shorter sleeves uh, but yeah not really sure but I have the pattern piece cut out and I'll decide later if I want that done to my dress um, so as far as alterations are concerned yes the one alteration that I made was grading my dress from an extra large to a large that's pretty oh the other alteration that i made was the pattern does not call for top stitching down the neckband but i went ahead and top stitched mine down because i feel like it always looks a lot more polished and a lot more professional so that's why i did that 
but I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this pattern and all of the views from this pattern to others. This is a really quick and easy make and this pattern could easily, easily be leveled up by choosing out of this world fabric, okay? The perfect fabric with this pattern will make it go a long way. This pattern has been out for a very long time, but it is still available in the George at Joanne Fabrics and at Hobby Lobby. And you can also grab this pattern from the Something Delightful website. So now I will share with you a few more photos and clips of me and my leopard print handkerchief dress. <music> already knew that I love this dress or I would not have made it twice because you know how I do with patterns make it once put it on away but I absolutely love this one even more love this version even more because it is the right size and the fabric is not garbage <laughs> so this is my three piece handkerchief dress that I can see myself sewing in all the views minus the super low maxi dress because it is just so simple and I can change up the different hemlines so that the dresses don't look the same if I decide to do that you know the option is there so it's definitely worth picking up so if you like this dress or any of the views from this pattern and you find yourself wanting to make one please do so and make sure you use the hashtag so in five and below so that we can highlight you and your makes. If you don't have social media, send me an email with your photo and pattern number and I can feature you that way as well, okay? So please let me know what you think about this pattern and the finished dress in the comments below. And make sure that you take some time to go to Rochelle's channel to check out her dress for today because I'm sure her dress is superb, okay? And I will link to her channel and her Instagram in the description box below along with the link to this pattern and the link to the fabric. I am trying to do a little better with the linking of everything. I just kind of get carried away and forget, but I will link that information. So again, let me know what you think about this make. Also make sure you participate so that you can win a prize and we will both have prize packages on both channels so that you can have an opportunity to win on both channels. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this episode number four of the five and below series make sure that you stay tuned for next week which is episode number five because that will be the last make the actual last make of the versions of the different garments that we are making but that will not be the last episode that episode will be followed by the grand finale on the week after which is going to be a treat so even though there's not going to be a garment there it's just going to be fabulous so you're not going Going to want to miss that either okay so stay tuned and that is also going to be when we uh, will announce our prize packages so you can see what it is that you've been entering to win okay so if you enjoyed this video please take a pause for the cause and click the like button and click the subscribe button and the gray notification bell if you have not done so already so that you can be notified of future videos and again let me know what you think in the comments below thank you so much for watching and thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support and i will see you in the next video bye Hello, can you go five and below? Hey. Motivation to sew. We going five, five and below. Motivation to sew. We getting ready to sew. Come on, y'all, let's get ready to sew.